Hello fellow crafters, it's Shell from Shell's Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make a Pokemon envelope for a Pokemon birthday invitation. It opens like that and then your invitation just goes inside. First, I'm going to take my circles, my nesting circles. From I have these ones from the Stamps of Life. And I take the second largest and the third largest. I'm going to cut a black and a white um, circle with this one. With my next size, I'm going to cut both a white and a red. I'm also going to be using just the button shadow dies from jars to stamp. And I basically need um, a black in this size and a white in that size. And that's going to make our little circle. Super duper easy. I'm going to go ahead and go cut those and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. I cut my big white circle. That's going to be the background one. The next one, I cut the black one in half already. Sorry, I did that off camera. I forgot to tell you to do that. And so that's going to go right like that. And that's going to be what makes this go up and go down. And this one, we are going to take our adhesive and we are just going to go just along the edges. You don't want to go too far in because you want to make it into a pocket. So you want to be able to slide stuff in because you want to be able to slide it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my big white one. I'm just going to line this up because they are the exact same size. Stick it on. Now I have a pocket for my invitation to go into. Are you keeping up? I think you can. I got. I think you got this. Now I'm going to stick my red one on top. So what I did was I cut my red circle in half as well, as well as my little white one. All right, so now I'm going to make sure that has a nice little border all the way around it. Happy with it, stick it down. We're committed. There's no going back. We got our woohoo top part done. Now we're not gonna stick that on because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a brad in the corner there so it can pivot. Our half white one onto the black. Same thing, same dealy dallyo. You got this. Stick it on. Are you happy with it? I hope so. Now with our little circle, I like to put it so that it's on the base so it's not going to move, but it's gonna have the effect that we want. My little shadow dies from the jar to stamp. Okay, so I cut out my little black and I cut out my little white. I'm gonna put adhesive on the back. And now I'm going to stick that on there, like so. Make sure you put adhesive just on the one side. Make sure that that's the side that you put down. Because you don't want it to stick to here because then that's going to interfere with your pocket. All right, last thing to do, let's stick a brad in that. What I like to do is I take my paper piercer, like so, pop off the lid because that just makes sense. I am going to put it in both. I'm gonna line this up where I want it. I'm going to put it over this part of my Stamper Secret weapon because this is the stabby part. I'm gonna put it in close enough so that it's not going to rip off the edge and go through both layers. Ta-da! Magic. Magic is happening right now. Now we're going to line up the hole in the brad and we're gonna stick it in. Now I like to see where it's going to land before I open up my brad. See how that's poking out the edge? Not safe! So let's just turn that puppy. And now we're, and that is our invitation um, holder right there. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take the size that is smaller than this one so that it's gonna fit in there. It's gonna be the size of our invitation. It's just gonna go in so cute. So I'll cut one of those and then you will see the last step. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and cut my invitation circle in red so it will go just inside like that. It'll have all my information written on there for the party. And then that just goes in like that. 
and go here's your invitation and then there it is i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't already all right i hope you have a good day have fun be kind to each other see you next time